my dear friends and welcome to Creative Cloud Express in Adobe Life. My name is Julia Vaca and I'm your host. Welcome everybody and happy Tuesday. I'm hoping you all are having an amazing and productive week so far. Um, so good to see you all. Uh, we have a bunch of amazing people in the chat. Andreas is here, Steve, Gareth. Um, cool. And Norsh is here. Awesome. Well, friends, today is going to be a really, really fun stream. We're going to be creating an Etsy banner, um, a custom Etsy banner that you can apply a brand identity to. So if you are a business owner or if you have an Etsy brand, this is the perfect stream for you to learn how to create that without being a designer. All right. So my friends, let's get started and let me go and share my screen there we go cool so my friends um this is creative cloud express this is an amazing platform where you can uh where you can design things from templates and it's an amazing platform for you if you are not a professional designer or if you don't have any design background but still want to be designing cool things this is it. Uh, you can find it on express.adobe.com and you can use it either on your desktop or you can also use it on your mobile devices. There is an app that you can download to your phone even and you can start designing right on your mobile phone right uh, from wherever you are at you don't even need a computer so uh, really really cool stuff a uh, really uh, cool app that you should try out. And so let's get started and um, quick intro on the left side, you can find this big uh, plus icon um, that you can click. And from there, you can quickly get started and create new things like an Instagram story, Instagram post, logo, flyer, collage, web page even. And you can also work with video here. And on the right side, you can find some amazing quick actions to work with image, video or PDF. And you can, for example, convert a video to a GIF or you can remove a background from a photo. So these are really fun things that you can do here as well. So let's get started and we're going to go in and select custom size graphic. And I'm going to go in and apply the width of an Etsy banner, which is 3,360 pixels and the height is 840 pixels and make sure that this is at set to pixels because you can also work in millimeters or in inches right so let's click next and we are already having the perfect size of our banner and if you were um, let's say create from a template you can also go into all templates and you can search from templates here on the left side and you can get started from there as well which will set up the size of the graphic for you. So also an amazing thing to do. All right, so we have a really wide background right now. So let's get in and let's select our logo that we have created yesterday and let's bring it into our, let's bring it into our design. And that you can do by simply, um, by simply dragging and dropping it into your, um, uh, into your uh, workspace so you can do that and we can also just go in there we go so I have that on my computer and I'm just going to drag and drop it into the file and you can see my logo is already here the good thing about having the logo here is that we can set the background sampling from these colors that we already have in the logo, right? So we're going to click on the background. We're going to go up here where it says choose image and we're going to click on color. And here we have this little tool. It's called the eyedropper. And what, what we can do with the eyedropper is we can sample color, right? So I'm clicking on the eyedropper and I'm going to hover over our logo background, which is a nice terracotta. And I'm going to sample that. And you can see as just as magic, um, our background turned the same exact color like our logo background. And in the same way, I could also go in and sample any of these colors here. So you can also technically bring in a color palette into your design and sample from there. And then later on, just remove the color palette 
So that's also another option how you can um, how you can work with those colors. But for now, I want the logo to blend in here and you can see I can still move this around and adjust and then size. Cool. Uh, Sean, uh, welcome. Ashraful, uh, awesome. Welcome everybody. Desislava, welcome. Awesome. So we have that. And what we want to do today is we want to work with some photography and you know, some when you look at Etsy, you will see that some of those banners have, have some really cool product pictures in them, some additional information, and maybe the logo in, inside. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be introducing the product, which in this case is uh, called Terra Gold, which is a brand for handmade jewelry. And we are going to go in and add some photos to this banner so that we can introduce some of our products. Of course, you can also bring in some of your self-taken pictures uh, into this. Since this is for me a fictitious brand, fictitious brand, I am going to go in and select from some of the photos from stock. You can also, of course, drop in your upload your photos by clicking upload photo and then you can select them from your computer and bring them into your design. That is also possible. Um, you can also access Dropbox, Google Drive, Google Photos, Lightroom, or your stock photos. So here we're going to be looking for jewelry. And I'm going to type in jewelry. And here we already have some really cool images. So what we want to do is, let's see what, what this image is. Once you click on an image, you can see, you know, um, you can see how the image is already in your design, right? This is already really cool. We have some really cool images of jewelry here um, that we can bring in. I'm going to keep on looking for more close up pictures um, that show maybe some nice jewelry, either earrings or maybe um, rings. So I'm going to select a couple pictures and I'm going to be deciding which ones I'm actually going to be using. And the same thing you can do when you have your own self shot pictures, you can upload them, you can bring them into your design and then see, you know, whatever works best. Cool. All right. Um, awesome. Annika is here. Welcome everybody. Let me know where y'all are from. Let me know if you have ever worked in Creative Cloud Express or if you own an Etsy shop. That would be really interesting to know. All right, so then we have this beautiful woman here with some earrings as well. So I'm going to just drop in some images and see what works best and what's going to work for my brand. And my brand is more like a nature inspired so um, brand. So images like this one, more like a bohemian kind of style, I think will work best for me. Uh, but um, in your case, of course, you will have your own specific style. And uh, let me see, let me see. Okay, I'm gonna bring this one also in. All right, so I feel like I have some of the images that I really love that I think really work with this brand. Uh, let's see one last one right here. I think this one is also perfect. And see how these three images, let's remove everything in the background. See how these three images all have some blue in them and they have some of those repetitive colors. What you can do is also, what's also really fun is, you can take the background and you can sample any of the colors that are in the photo, right? So you can, for example, sample the blue and look how suddenly the blue in all of these images starts popping out, right? That looks really, really fun, but I want to keep it to the uh, logo, uh, logo color for now. So now let's arrange those images. And how do we do that? We click on the image and then we can go in and click and drag one of the corners to resize it and click and drag to move it around. And you can also turn the image slightly if you like by clicking this little um, arrow, um, yeah, rotation arrow here. And you can slide that image a little bit. And we want to be focusing on the jewelry today, right, for our banner. So I'm going to place this piece of jewelry over here. Maybe I'm going to even make it straight, more straight like that. There we go. So now we're really focusing on this piece of jewelry here on the left side, which works really, really well. 
Now let's uh, align the other two images. So here, the left, uh, the center one, we're also going to make a focus on the jewelry and kind of bring it up a little bit so it really fits into our design. This one we're going to be turning just slightly and again, we're going to go in and zoom in a little bit into the image, just like that. All right, we can also crop the image a little bit, which is what we want to do, because now we can see that this image is overlaying the other one quite a, quite a lot, right? And we want to create them kind of laying um, diagonally with some dividers. So I'm going to crop this image a little bit. I'm going to give this a little trim on the left and a little trim on the right. Now I'm going to place it slightly further down, just like that, and increase the size something like that. So now the next step, what we want to do is before we arrange this last image is we want to bring in some shapes, some dividers for those images. And for that, we're going into shapes, the shapes section. And here you can see there are a lot of amazing vectorized shapes. That means those shapes are endlessly scalable, right? So I could take in any of these images and I could scale it uh, way, way up. So here we're, we want to look up a rectangle. Also, all of these shapes that you find here, all of these icons and all of these images, you can also recolor. So in shapes, you find vectorized, um, basically, uh, shapes and icons that you can recolor. Okay, um, so we can actually bring in some of our brand colors in here, which is also going to be very exciting. Um, cool. All right, Steve, I don't have Etsy and I'm not crafty, but I am really <laughs> awesome. Cool. Seems like a good idea. Yeah. So I have, I see a lot of my colleagues also that work with me, um, at Adobe also having an Etsy, uh, an Etsy shop just for fun, just because they're doing handcrafting, uh, and doing some amazing stuff and that they want to sell, that they obviously want to bring out into the world. Okay, so um, it's definitely a cool thing to do on the side also. So we are going to select a filled rectangle. So this one right here is perfect. This one will work as well, as well as this one. Any of these, we can also resize them, uh, make them smaller, thinner, larger, whatever we want. So I'm going to click on this one here um, and you can see it's already added into our design right here and it has a slightly different color. So now what we're going to be doing is we are going to be sampling a color from our logo. So we are, you know, reusing those brand colors. We're bringing the cohesion into our banner, right? We're using the same colors, the same font, really makes your brand recognizable. So that's what we want to achieve. All right, so now we're gonna take this rectangle and again, we're going to click on color and make sure that the rectangle is selected. We're going to click on color. We're going to use the eyedropper, click on it, and we're going to sample this darker shade from our logo right here. You can see my sample tool is going around and sampling the color. Once you have this circle of the eyedropper in the right color tone, you could just simply click and you can see this color has already been applied to this rectangle. Now we can go in and turn this rectangle and I'm going to turn it just in the same angle like I've turned the photo and I'm going to place it um, right be right in between those photos, right? So that's what I'm gonna do and um, this is really, really great. Um, we can also go in and kind of overlay images if we want to. But for now, this, this works really, really well. So now let's we can go in and find a shape that's a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit thinner. So again, I'm looking for rectangles. Um, and I think I should be able to, let's see. Oh yeah. So let's turn it back to the vertical position Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so I'm going to make it quite quite smaller and I'm going to place it in between those images like just like I just had it. Okay, so this is good. Yeah, 
Perfect. So now we have this really cool divider that's on brand and that's dividing those two images. Now let's get in and um, crop this photo as well. So I'm going to select the photo, click crop and shape. And this one, we are going to be cropping quite a lot into the arm and into the earring because we really want to focus on the product here in this case and I'm going to click done now we are going to resize this and just make sure to resize it slightly more slightly longer than um, than the banner and we are going to click we're going to click and drag to to rotate it as well just like we have rotated the other images just like so. Maybe you need to increase the size just a little bit like that. Now we're going to take this exact shape and we're going to duplicate it. So we're going to create a copy of it, right? And for that, we can click on this rectangle and click here, duplicate, or you can also use Command and D as a shortcut for that. Now we have this rectangle duplicated, right? Now, what I want to do is, since I already have my images cropped and I want to put this rectangle into the background so I have a little bit more image and a little bit less rectangle, I can go in into our layers down here. Once you click into the layers, you can see that you can change the order, the way they appear, whether the rectangle appears more in the foreground or whether it appears more in the background. Okay, so we want to put this last rectangle that we've created. By the way, these objects are currently in order of the way I've created them. So the last object I've, uh, object I've added to the design is the top object. So it's going to be in the top layer. And so that's how I know this is the exact same one. So I'm going to click and drag and arrange it underneath those photos. Right, so now you can see that my rectangle went into the background and both of these photos went into the foreground, okay? Now, of course, if we are reusing the same color tone, it might get a little boring. So let's select this rectangle and let's select this terracotta um, color, this more brownish terracotta color uh, for this shape, right? So we have the shape selected by clicking on it and then we're going here into color. And again, we're using the eyedropper and we're going to eyedrop this color right here. Now, how cool is this? Look, we have some really cool dividers. They're all creating this kind of movement, cohesion. Now let's play around with the logo just a little bit. And I think in this case, we can turn down the logo a little bit by, or like put it more into the background, let's say, um, just because we want to focus on the product, on the imagery, right? So let's make this slightly smaller, not too much, and then place it further down. And here, there we go. We have our amazing banner ready to go. We can also, of course, play around with the images still. We can take in this image and crop it um, just a little bit. And then, you know, maybe you want to take in some of that jewelry in as well. So we can take that image and, by the way, whenever we have something selected and you open the layers, the layer where that specific image or shape sits is has a black outline so you know right away actually where this image is and now i'm going to take this image and i'm going to place it on top on on the top layer and now you can see we're covering some of this shape that actually was covering some of that necklace okay so this is now very product focused and we can still go in and adjust it and we can crop it from this side a little bit as well if we want to and then we can bring this shape just a little bit closer and this image just a little bit closer to create some space around here or you can you can just play around and see you know what works best for it cool so we have that um i think our banner is looking pretty amazing and to be able to kind of better preview it we can zoom out a little bit we can click the zoom out button at the bottom and you can also preview it in 100 percent size and this is the exact size it will appear on the screen right so whenever you open etsy this is the exact size of your banner Cool, so it's looking good. Make sure that your logo is legible and 
In this case, I might even go in and make it slightly larger just so Terra Gold is, is legible, the name of the brand, very, very important, um, needs to be legible. So now we have this really cool kind of arrangement of photos uh, showing some of the products, showing them in, on, you know, on some of the customers maybe. And um, as I said, this is your chance to present your product, to give an intro on what this business is actually doing. Amazing, cool, Adnan is here and Emma is joining. Cool. All right. Um, I'd love to have an online store, Juan is saying. Yes. Um, it's so fun. I can imagine. It's so fun to make some amazing jewelry and sell it online. All right. So we have our banner now. What's the next? What's next? What's the next step? And we can even still play around with, um, with these things here. If um, we want, we can also add some more shapes, like something maybe saying um, handmade, let's see. Let's see what there is, what we have here. Uh, maybe something like that, kind of showing, hey, this is a handmade product. Um, and we can bring it in into the banner. Let me zoom in again so I can work a little bit more detailed in here. There we go. So maybe we can bring in something into the corner up here saying this is handmade. And I'm going to make it make it a little bit smaller. Come on, come on, come on, go smaller, please. <laughs> it doesn't want it. All right. So uh, we can bring our logo a little bit further down and we can bring something in that says handmade. And to, to do that, of course, we will have to add some text. And let's search if there is something handmade already, already existing. Uh, locally grown arts and crafts. Okay, handmade in California. That could work. All right, so maybe this is handmade in California. And you can also, of course, adjust the text here if you like. And we can uh, place that above our hand, kind of giving it a little icon saying, hey, this is handmade in California. And holding shift, we can select multiple objects. So I can now resize both of these. Oh, okay. My hand suddenly is really tiny. Let's see. Let's see what's going on with that hand. Let's make that slightly larger. Oh, I guess it only has two modes, either really tiny or really large. So let's see what's going on. Okay, but you get the idea. So basically we can create an icon out of these two things. Um, <clears throat> All right, and we can also change the color of this text, of course. We can go in and select text color, and we can, of course, use the eyedropper again and use that same exact color. So this is also another option of what you can do with your banner, but we want to keep it clean in this case, and I'm going to bring that logo back to where it was. And in terms of arrangement of the logo, whenever you arrange it in the layout, I would look that the logo is has the same distance to the banner edges from the left side and the bottom or wherever it's kind of uh, close to the banner, right? So in this case, we have it uh, arranged to the lower right. And so I want to make sure that there is some space here. I would not put the logo too far on the edge because that will give it kind of like an uncomfortable feeling, right? Seeing this makes you a little, uh, something is wrong here, <laughs> right? Um, so I would put it, I'll give it a little bit of space around so that we can actually pay some attention to the logo and that it's legible and that it looks like it's put there on purpose. All right, so there we have our banner. Now let's go and export it or download it and I'm going to click download. You can also, of course, share it with somebody else if you uh, want to invite someone to collaborate on this uh, on this banner, also possible. So let's say maybe you're doing it for your business partner. Maybe, um, maybe you both are jewelry makers and it's your common store and you want to share with them and see if they like it, if they want to change any of the imagery, you can invite them or you can also publish and share the link. You can also make this a template and reuse this and, you know, change the images in here as well. That's also possible. 
And really cool, you can also use this uh, QR code to open it on your mobile phone. So you can literally go from, from your desktop to your mobile by scanning this QR code. So now we wanna download PNG and here you can download with solid color because we do want to see this background color. So I'm going to click solid color and now I already have my, um, my project download onto my computer and I can upload it to Etsy and I can have a really cool uh, banner. I can have a really cool logo and the logo we've made yesterday. So this is what the logo looks like. This is what the banner looks like. Um, so yeah, super fun and super easy to do. Um, I'm hoping you all enjoyed this and I'm hoping this was all, um, yeah, easy to follow. Um, let me know if you have any other questions in the chat um, or leave some comments. Let me know what you all think and stay tuned for the program here on Adobe Life and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you.